Amen. What's going on, everybody? I just want to share a couple of dreams with you guys. Um, it is about six in the morning. I've been up since about four thirty to be exact. Um, this morning and yesterday morning, I woke up at the exact same time. Yesterday morning was very strategic of the Lord to do so. Um, <laughs> for He had me doing things around five o'clock in the morning. Um, but long as it's blessed the Lord, then I am okay with that. So I've had two dreams. So over the past five months that I've just been sitting on, I've only shared these two dreams with two people who are very close friends of mine, um, who I consider brothers. And outside of that, I just been meditating and just saying, Hey, man, we're just going to see what the Lord say. Um, what does this represent? What does this mean? What interpretation is he going to give me for it? I've been constantly praying and praying. Um, I haven't really gotten a full interpretation on everything, but I've been feeling the unction over the past week and a half to go ahead and release these dreams out. For those of you who don't know, um, there are dreams that the Lord has given me and visions that the Lord has given me before that have came to pass um, several times. And I feel like this is just another warning um, that the Lord may be giving to the people. As we know that a lot of dreams and visions have um, significant, uh, significant meaning behind them pertaining warnings and things that may be coming or that shall come to pass. So um, I just want to pray before I release these. Um, Father, in the name of Jesus, just pray over every person who is listening right now, God, that they have ears to hear what it is that you desire to release on today, Father. And I pray that I only speak or minister or say what it is that you have placed in me to say on today. In the name of Jesus, God, I do this all for your glory. And my desire is to just warn the people just as you instruct me to do so, to make these things known in the right timing. Um, that you desire for them to be released in Jesus' name. So, God, I just submit myself to your will, to your words, and whatever it is that you desire to say in this video. Amen. All right, so I want to tell you about these two dreams. Um, like I said, I've, I woke up at 4.30 4 this morning. I've just been meditating on it, praying on it, and just start trying to do some research um, pertaining anything that I may be able to get. Uh, with these two things and just to say this before I get into everything I I am not um, one-sided on anything I'm not Democrat or Republic or vote for this and vote for that I am all Jesus um, and I have the right <laughs> to to be all Jesus just like you have the right to vote for whoever you desire to vote for um, and I'm not uh, big into political things so just to say that to create the foundation that these are the things that the Lord has showed me through prayer. So back in November, um, when the election happened, as the Bible instructs us to pray for everyone, um, leaders, uh, police, fire department, your brothers, and sisters, just pray for everyone. So what I decided to do since everything was going on was, you know, since Biden has won the election, then Father, I would pray for Biden. And immediately, when I began to pray for Joe Biden, I saw his face and I only saw the head. And there was a scar, a thick scar that went across the side of his face. Now, this scar was it was one of those deep tissue scars. I don't know the scientific or medical word for that, but it was one of the scars that if someone was to um, cut you with a a machete or something going across your face and it would open up the skin and i know that may be a little bit explicit to some people but that's how the wound was and it was a long scar that went all the way across his face so that was the first um dream that i had or vision as i was praying for joe biden um now the second dream that i had was with Trump 
And I wrote this down because it's a, it's a little detailed on how this dream played out. And I began to pray for Trump as well. And as I began, began to pray for Trump, I saw him standing with his wife. They were side by side. And it was as if they was looking, they were standing like side by side, just like this. And they was looking that direction towards like the podium where everyone was or whatever. And as he was standing there, I I heard him say, he said, you know, and you know how Trump's talk. He said, you know, a while ago I was depressed, but I never did it. And that's all he said. And then it went from that until me seeing him walking up to the podium. And then as he walked up to the podium, he began to like address the people. And as he was addressing the, addressing the people, he had a note in his hand. And you know those yellow square sticky notes? It was something similar to that that he had in his hand. Now, I didn't see what was on the note, um, but it was something written on the note. And on this yellow little sticky note that he had, it was something written on it. And he passed this note um, to a lady that was standing behind him. Now, I don't know who this lady was or whatever, but as he was standing, he passed it as if he didn't want it to be seen. Um, so if he was standing up and see if I can exemplify this, I'd like to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So it was like, as if this was the note, he had it between his fingers like this, and he was kind of like passing it back behind himself like that. And once she got the note, she just stood back in in line or however the people be standing behind him and he proceeded to talk and it was like nobody noticed that the note was passed um but these is this is just what i saw in the dream now um one thing that i did get i know sometimes when we look at dreams and we have dreams we try to get a literal interpretation of those things but it's not always how dreams work um what i've seen and again, you can pray about these things for yourself. What what I from what I've seen and my um, a term interpretation of what both of these two dreams represent was an impact on the country. Now, they could have something to do with Biden himself or Trump himself. But I do know that these two dreams represent uh, either a state of the country or something to come for the United States, because these two are both parties or representatives of the things or has some type of effect or control on the, some of the things that happen in the United States. So um, with the wound, with the passing of the note, with all of that stuff, uh, I think those are very key points, key things to look at. But again, I just wanted to release these dreams to share uh, with you guys, to warn you guys of some possible things for the country, um, some events they may come that will affect everybody. And I released a video before about something's coming that's going to affect everyone. And I released that in 2019, um, around November, around November, December. And in March, we seen what happened. So you guys just be in prayer. Uh, be praying for Trump, be praying for uh, Biden, be praying for all of the Senate and every everyone. Just pray that the Lord's will be done and that he prepares us or gives us the strategies, the tools or whatever it is that we need um, to endure or to go through whatever that phase is or whatever timing it is. So I just want to get on and share those two dreams with you guys. Um, and I'm going to be sharing some other dreams as well as the Lord releases me to share um, those things. But till next time, grace and peace, peace and blessings. I'll see you guys in the next one.